Hi, I'm Mitch Reed, and today on my vlog, I am going to talk a little bit about the music from Brittany and Poitou. And uh, I'm very lucky to have some friends from Brittany who taught me a couple of fiddle tunes that I thought were really interesting. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. That's This is the area of France where a lot of the uh, Cajuns came from. Uh, the Acadians a lot came from uh, Poitou and went to Nova Scotia and then ended up in Louisiana. Uh, Brittany as well was a place where a lot of some of the names you find around here, Southwest Louisiana, you'll see um, there as well. So uh, there is a connection and uh, you know, I don't know how much of a connection musically there is, but um, I'm sure there is. So I thought it'd be fun to uh, talk a little bit about that and play those two tunes that I know from Brittany. <laughs> And uh, one of the interesting things about these tunes is they're, they're in a different tuning. So what I had to do, I took my violin and uh, I, uh, I'm tuned like this. I'm, I'll let you know I'm tuned E, so that's the highest string, A, D, and then I dropped the G string all the way to a, a low D. So these, uh, the last two low strings are in octaves. So that's kind of cool. It sounds kind of neat. Sounds very bagpipe-like. So um, uh, the first one I'm going to play for you is, um, I believe it's a, a gavat that I learned. So um, and it's in D minor. So I'm going to play for it. So it goes like this. So that low string that's tuned all the way down to D, I, I never play any notes on it. I just rock the bow and catch it. And it blends with the uh, D string and the A string as well. Um, so that was a D minor tune. So I'll play one in, uh, in D major. So it, work, it also works as, uh, with, D, with the major keys as well. So D major, um, and this is another tune that I learned from, this one I learned from Eric Martin from Brittany. And, uh, and it was a tune that he used to play with his, um, his Breton band called uh, Vent d'Ouest. And I don't know the name of it, <laughs> but I like it a lot. Um, but uh, so I'll play that one and then, yeah, so it goes like this. <laughs>
So yeah, these are a lot of fun to play. They're just so different from the Cajun stuff and even the Irish stuff that I play. And uh, again, what really makes it is that tuning. So it's, uh, and I believe they use this tuning in some old timey Appalachian tunes as well. I don't know of any Cajun or Dennis McGee tunes in this tuning, but um, Dennis McGee was the one Cajun and Voris Connor, they used a lot of different tunings to uh, get different sounds out of the fiddle. So that's a lot of fun. Um, you can definitely use this tuning uh, with uh, some of the tunes that we play. Um, and the one that just comes out right away is the Mardi Gras song. <laughs> Some other tunes too. It definitely gives it a bagpipe sound, um, but you know that's the amazing thing about the fiddle is um, you can do some different tunings and give it a totally different sound. It makes you play totally different. So definitely don't be afraid of alternate tunings um, that you hear about that you want to try. I think it, it kind of opens a whole nother door to fiddling. Uh, if I, I think if I would have just stayed EADG, you know, or tune down to Cajun, um, you know, it would, it would get a little boring. So it's fun to experiment with different tunings. Um, yeah, sometimes, it, I mean, if you have any kind of basic music theory knowledge, you can even figure out some different tunings that'll work, you know, that can blend with, uh, with tunes. It is, they work especially well with tunes that are just on two strings. If you have that, you can you can tune the other two strings or one string uh, to something, and it'll blend in that. So pretty cool. And I think um, you know, as far as the origins of the violin go, um, you know, the violin came out in the 1600s, and uh, and it as it made its way across Europe, most people played Baroque music on it. But um, you can definitely see that when the violin got to the west coast of France. Um, they were playing a lot of bagpipes and um, you know instruments that were ha that had a drone that always had a drone. So you could totally understand why they would tune their fiddle this way. It makes total sense that it would sound like the other instruments, and also even by itself, it would sound like a bagpipe. So, well, thanks for joining me today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and talk about the connection that we have, the Cajuns and the Creoles, to the Celtic people from France. And, um, um, you know, it's not like a, a big, it's not like we go back and forth all the time, but I think there's still a lot of interesting things that we brought from that area that um, you, you kind of have a little hints of it here. So thanks so much for joining me, and I'll, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you out there soon. Stay inspired, keep on fiddling, and um, tune into some, some more of my vlogs in the future. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.